Hey everybody, Dan from On One here. It's been about a month since we released On One Photo Raw 2023, and we've been blown away by the response. Users are really loving it, especially the new AI masking features like Super Select AI, Mask AI, the AI Adaptive Presets, and Quick Mask AI. And they're all based on a similar technology under the hood, where it can take a photo, segment it, find the different objects and regions that you're interested in, and then build high quality masks for them automatically. Now, by and large, it works great on most subject matters, but there have been a couple of cases that our users have told us about. This is our first chance to really go back and make better results on some of those cases. So let me show you an example here. If your subject matter in your photo is large, these tools work really well. But on a very small subject matter, and especially on noisy photos, sometimes it wouldn't make the best quality mask. So I grabbed this photo to show you some of the improvements that we've made. This photo is both noisy, as you can see, and our subject matter, the horse and the rider, are pretty small within the scene. I'm gonna go back to a fit view so you can see they're a tiny little object within the scene. I'm gonna grab Super Select AI, and I'm going to click on the horse and on the rider. You notice how they're two individual pieces because the horse is an individual instance and the rider is a separate instance. Not all objects work that way. Things like people, food, transportation, animals, those are all individually selectable, but other things like the sky or water or flora or architecture are all gonna be selected together at once. Keep in mind the whole reason we created these features was to make complex selections easier, but one of the things we have to do to make it easier is we wanna kinda of pick the whole object, not just a portion of an object or a single object in a scene, something like an individual tree or an individual house. It's gonna group those together instead. If you need to make those individual selections, there's a whole fleet of great masking tools already in Photo Raw for that. Anyway, back to our horse and rider. I've selected them. You notice how they have a blue halo around them. That gives you a ballpark idea of what the selection is going to be, but that's not the final selection. This is just a rough outline. So if it doesn't look perfect here, that's okay. We're going to continue to improve that together. Once I've made that selection, I'm going to pick what I want to do. In this case, I'm just going to increase the exposure. We're talking more about what we can do than what I would do artistically. So I'm just gonna add a one-stop exposure increase to the photo. And I'm gonna put that tool away. And I'm just gonna make some adjustments. So you can see how that made a pretty darn good mask. And for most basic adjustments, that mask is gonna be just fine. But if we need to get in and we need to make fine-tuning adjustments to it, let me show you a couple techniques that I would use for that. First off, let's turn on our mask view. I'm using the red overlay mask. And I'm gonna zoom in pretty close. You notice we're at 200% on this photo. And I notice how a couple of the little legs, it didn't go all the way down and it kind of missed the ear and the end of the nose on the horse. That's all stuff that we can easily fix. And there's two tools you're going to use mostly for adjusting masks. The first one is the mask refinement brush. This is my go-to. I use this on almost every photo that I need to adjust a mask on. It works really well. It's kind of automatic. It looks at the colors in the neighborhood of what you've told it you want and what you don't want. And it fixes it for you automatically. So now if I just brush down the legs here, on the horse, you can see how it added that in. Same thing, I'm just gonna do that on the other legs, maybe a little bit over here on the tail. You can see how it's just automatically growing the mask in the areas that I care about. I'll do the same thing up here on the ears, maybe down on the, I almost said trunk, not a trunk on a horse, nose on the horse, there we go. Now, other times it may not do as well. See, it did a pretty good job on her shirt sleeve, but the hand is darn near the same color as the background, so it has a hard time there. So what we'll do in a case where we can't make the refined brush do what we want, we'll just use the regular masking brush. So I'm gonna grab the regular old fashioned masking brush from my tool well, and I'll use that to clean up this little spot over here. I'm just going to make sure it's set to the minus sign so that we're adding to the mask, and I'll just paint in those little areas that bug me. We're getting really picky here on some of these tiny little spots here and here. And then I'm just gonna switch my tool mode around. I can do that by hitting Shift X on my keyboard or holding on the Option key works too. And I'm gonna subtract from my mask. I'm just gonna add a little bit here, a little bit here, I'm gonna add a little bit on her face, and then just add in her hand a little bit. There we go. Hit the O key again to turn that mask off. And now we've made an even higher quality mask. If I needed to make really large and obvious adjustments, I might need that higher quality mask for it. Let's go back to a fit view so we can take a look at that. There we go, there's the overall adjustment right there. So I could brighten her up just like that. So now those AI masking tools work better on smaller, noisier objects within your scene. 
And that refine brush that I showed you actually has been made to work much, much faster. Another big improvement we've made with this is now if you're working with the sky, we'll automatically use the same mask results that we use for sky swap. So you get a higher quality, very, very intricate, detailed mask from the sky. Let me show you. Let's say in a photo like this, I want to darken up the sky or maybe I want to make the sky a little bit more blue. I'm just going to mouse over. You see the red overlay to tell me I can select that region. I click on it. That turns it blue. That means that region is selected. And you notice when we look over here at the tree, there's quite a bit of area in those tree branches that haven't been selected. Now keep in mind, this is just a temporary overlay. This isn't the final results until I actually pick what I want to do. So let's say I want to make the sky a little bit more blue. I'm just going to right click and I'm just going to add a cooler adjustment to the sky. There we go. Now it's added that. I'll hit the O key on my keyboard and look, that mask is actually much higher quality than what that temporary overlay looks like. You can see, let me zoom in here a little bit on this tree. You can see all the tiny little leaves and branches have been masked out automatically. And that's because it was using the sky selection, the same high quality mask from SkySwap AI. Now here's a tip. If you want to work on everything except for the sky, just select the sky and then invert your mask. Use the paint out rather than the paint in option. And then you could apply something to the foreground while still protecting the sky. Now I mentioned that mask refine brush. To me, that's really my best friend when it comes to using the AI masking tools. Let me show you. This works great on people. This works great on smoke, fog, hair, tree branches. That's really, really where you're gonna use it. Let's say I'm gonna swap out the background on this high key photo. I'm just gonna go down to my textures and let's just pick something that we can use for a background. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So here we go. I just kind of put a swirly, scratchy pattern behind it. Now, if we look at the mask, that mask isn't bad. I'm actually going to switch over to the grayscale mask in this mode so you can see this with the highest precision. I'm going to go over here to grayscale mask. And you can see it did a pretty good job. And in most cases, this would be a fine mask. But if we want it to be even more precise, that's where that refine brush comes in. I'm just going to grab the refine brush. Let me make this a little bit bigger here. And then I'm just going to brush right along the edge of her hair. And kapow, look how quickly it improved the quality of the mask. We've made the results of Refine look better and we've made it substantially faster as well. And one of the things you may not know about the Refine brush is you can actually brush with it multiple times. And each time you brush, the results may actually get better because it has more information to work with, more knowledge of what you want to keep versus what you want to get rid of. There we go. Now, if we make a really strong change to our background, it pops through that hair and is semi-transparent. Now, those aren't the only improvements that we've made in this free update. We've also listened to feedback about the new AI keywords pane where some users want to have the ability to roll it up. So we've added a roll-up section so you can collapse that down. And we've also made the description and keywords areas larger and wider so you have more room to type in and view the contents in those panes. We've also made opening up raw photos significantly faster, 33% faster taking your photos from browse into edit. This also makes cataloging and exporting faster as well. Plus, we managed to sneak in a few new cameras that are brand new to the market, and we've added lens profiles for a handful of new lenses as well. And of course, with any update, we've squashed a bunch of bugs and we've improved stability as well. This is a great free update to owners of On One Photo Raw 2023. This update is also available for anyone who owns the standalone or the plugins of the 2023 vintage as well. So that includes HDR and effects, no noise, resize, and portrait, all available at the same time. If you're a trial user and you haven't made your purchase yet, you're welcome to give them a try again. We've reset the trials to give you another 30 days to test them out. We're sure you're going to love them as much as we do. Thank you guys for being on one customers and supporting us. Have a great day.